Robbie and welcome Robbie. Hello. Hey, Hi. It doesn't seem a week ago that we were doing this in the church centre. No, we weren't. No. That, we were, you're quite right. It we were in the ago. church centre a we week ago. We were in the ago. church centre and it yeah. was a whole week ago. Today, we're not in the church centre. We're in our home. No, this we're at home. This is where we live. Probably like you. Are you in your homes? I imagine they are. Yeah, everybody's in their homes. Welcome to Footprints on Sunday at four in the Upcott House. At four in the afternoon. At four in the okay. afternoon. Okay, well I hope you're all well. And I hope you're all happy. And I hope you're all behaving yourselves. Our unlike cats our cats. <laughs> <laughs> we would like to say that we know this week has been difficult. But we have been praying for you. We've been praying for your parents who have been trying to homeschool you. I know that is quite mm. difficult for you, having your parents as your teachers. So I really hope they have been behaving themselves. And I also hope that you've had time to go out and enjoy the sunshine. Mm. But Robin, it's been good. We'll start with the song. I think it's time to start So with we the need song. you to stand up because mm -hmm. we're already standing up. We are. If you're sitting down, you can stand up because we're going to do a song. Remind us that Jesus is the King. Yeah. Remember the actions? Jesus is the king, ruler over everything, Jesus is the one, from the Son of God, Jesus is the Lord, he's the one you can't avoid, Jesus, Jesus, he's the king, he's the king, he promised the fishermen, hey, come follow me. And they did, and they did, and they did, because Jesus is the King, ruler over everything, Jesus is the one, from the Son of God, Jesus is the Lord, he's the one you can ignore, Jesus, Jesus is the King, he's the King. He commanded the evil ones, hey, come out of him. And they did, and they did, and they did. Because Jesus is the king, ruler over everything. Jesus is the one, from the son, the son of God. Jesus is the Lord, he's the one you can't ignore. Jesus, Jesus is the king. He's the king. He commanded the wind and waves. Hey! Come still, be still. And they did. And they did. And they did. Because Jesus is the king. Ruler over everything. Jesus is the one. Father, Son, the Son of God. Jesus is the Lord. He's the one you can't ignore. Jesus. Jesus, he's the king, he's the king, he promised that three days after death he'd rise again, and he did, and he did, and he did, because Jesus is the king, ruler over everything, Jesus is the one, from the Son of God, Jesus is the Lord, He's the one you can't ignore. Jesus, Jesus, He's the King, ruler over everything. Jesus is the one, from the Son of God, Jesus is the Lord, He's the one you can't ignore. Jesus, Jesus, He's the King, He's the King. He's the king. Oh, well done. Give yourself Hope a you clap. remember the actions better than we did. Okay, you? see you in a bit. It's now time for birthdays. We would like to sing happy birthday to Ava, who is going to be 10, and Neve, who I think is going to be 7. So when we do the claps, it's ten for Ava and seven for Neve. So Robin, Off you've already you got go. your hat on. Let me put mine on. There we are. Are you ready? I think so. B I R T H D A Y. Oh, mm -hmm. 
Before we go from the beginning, we're going to learn the signing for As We Forgive Those Who Sin Against Us. I'll do it sitting down to start. It's As We Forgive Those Who Sin Against Us. Should you do that once more? Okay. As, As we, we forgive those who sin against us. Okay, hope you've all got that. Right. Should we try it from the beginning? Okay. Let's stand up and do it now. Good. Okay, Here we let's go. Try I don't together. think I'm quite as good at this as you are. <laughs> well, I keep forgetting we it can try. Well, so let's all learn Here we it together. Go. Off we go. Our, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your, your name. Your, your Kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us our daily bread, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Should we try that once more that's with difficult. a couple of hiccups? Well, that's why we're doing a little bit each week, Robin. Let's okay, I'll have to watch small. you to get this right. Okay. Here Forgive we go. me, I don't always get ready? it right either. Our, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your, your name. name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. I think that's correct so far. Keep practicing at home. I will keep trying to practice looking at the video as well. But well done if you're memorising hey, it better than good. we are. It's better than okay. we are. <laughs> See you in a bit. Robin, look, I found a box. Do you want to come and have a look at it? Yeah. Crumbs. Isn't it interesting? It's really shiny. It is, isn't it? Oh, look, there's some. Is there anything in it? I don't. Oh, it's making it's a noise. It's not very heavy. Where did you find it? It was underneath the stairs. So it's been there for ages? It might have been. I don't go underneath oh. the stairs very often. Oh. Look, there's a piece of cloth here. Yeah. There's a slit in the There's middle. like a, an opening here. Um, Would you like to put your hand inside and see what's in there? What, from a box that you found under the stairs? Yes. I'm not so sure I did. No. Why? Well, there might be anything in there. There could be a dead bird in there, or that's, a, a that's, mouse or something. That's why you're going to feel inside the box and not me. Really? Yeah. Go on, be brave. Shall I? Yeah, go on. No, I don't want to. Why? Well, there might be anything in there. We just said... Oh, my. Go on, do it. Oh! 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 What is it? I don't know. What does it feel like? It's a bit woody. Woody? Yeah, it's sort of crunchy. Crunchy? Yeah, woody I don't know what it crunchy. is. It's quite hard and woody and crunchy and spiky. Spiky? Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know what it is. I give up. What do you I think? It? What do you think it is then? I don't know. I wonder if we can open the box and see. Oh right. Oh, oh look. I tell you what. We should have thought of this earlier. Look. We should have done. Really Watch. A bit silly. It's opening, and it's a. Ah. Oh, it's a fur comb. It's a fur comb with lots yeah. of bits of paper. Yeah. That's to why. It. So let's take that off. That's why um, it take, felt a bit woody because it's true. sort of wood, isn't it? Yeah. 
and it's sort of prickly. Mm. Do you know, it's a real shame that the children aren't here because we're going to put lots of exciting things in there for them to have a feel. Anything, couldn't we? you could put anything in there, couldn't you? Because I think this is a feely box that we made it is. ages ago. Yeah, you can't see, but you can just feel. Feel. Yeah. Is there anybody here with us you might be uh, willing to have a go, do you think? You know there is. Ah. Uh, Shall I go and get him? Well, he's been asleep for most of the day. Well, he has been asleep. John's been yeah. asleep for ages. Let me go and get him. Shall I take you look that after that for a minute, and I'll go and get John. Okay. Two minutes. Won't be long. John! John! Come downstairs. Come on. John! Here I am. I've got the box back. Oh. The life book's been very exciting. And here's John. Inside. Oh, John. Hi, John. How are you today? Well, I was asleep. Were you? But Robin says you want me for something. That's right, John. We have got a box here. It's a feely box. Can you see? Yeah. Is it all right? Yeah. Inside, we've got this little slit on the top, and inside, there might be something. We'd like to put your hand inside and see what you can feel. No, thanks. What? It might be something horrible. There might be a prickly porcupine in there. Prickly porcupine? It could be, couldn't there? Or, yes, John, what? What else might there be? A slippery snake. Oh, no, no slippery snakes. Well, John, would we really put something in there as horrible as that? We've never done anything bad to you before, have we? Well, there's always a first time. I think you should put your hand in, John. I don't want to. Well, come on. How can we encourage him? How about if we gave you our very last packet of crisps? <gasps> Has that persuaded you? It might have. Come on, John, you can do it. I promise it will be safe. Okay. I so, can't see what's in there. Well, you can't see because you're supposed to feel, John. Come on, put your hand put your in. hand in. I don't like to. Why Come not? on, John. You can do it. Why don't you want to put your hand Slowly. in? Slowly. Slowly, turn it over to the camera. Oh, something slid around inside. Ah! Uh, what is it, John? I don't know. It's a it's bit what? prickly. Prickly? But it's not a prickly porcupine. Is it soft? It's hard. Hard, okay. And it's cold. It's cold as well, so it's prickly. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. And it's cold. Yeah. I wonder what it can be. I don't know. Well, have a guess, John. What do you think? If you guess, what do you think it could be? Um. I have no idea. I wonder if the children at home are guessing what it might be. It's definitely hard. And cold. Do you think, John, we should see if we can look in the box and find out what it is? Okay. Have you got any ideas what it might be? Is your hand okay? Yes, I've still got all my fingers. So it didn't bite? No. No, that's right then. That's lucky. Okay. Shall I open the box and see? Yes, please. Right, let's have a look. Ooh, I still that? don't know what it is. You still don't know what it is? Shall no. I hold it up for everyone I to see? I can't see it. Look. Can you feel the it's, prickles? It's uh, one of those things. Um, <laughs> don't tell me. Come on, John, what do you think it is? Hold it up the other way. <gasps> it's a shell. It is a shell. Yes. It's hard and prickly right. on the outside. It's very shiny on the inside. Isn't that lovely? That's wonderful. It is wonderful. Can I have my crisps now? Well, maybe in a minute. I wanted to ask you something. Why were you asleep earlier? Well, 
I'm not sleeping very well at night at We've the moment. Actually. Yes, John, we yeah. have noticed actually. Yeah. At night time, if we do get you to sleep, you wake up mm. and then you want a glass of water. Yep. And then you go back to sleep and then you wake up again because you want the toilet. And then you go back to sleep and then you wake up because you want a glass of water. Yep. And then you wake up because you want to get into bed with us. Yep. So you're not sleeping very well, John. So why is all that? I'm just not sure about anything anymore. Everything is different. You're right there. I can't play with my friends. Mm. I'm not allowed to go to school, even though it's not the school holidays. That's right. And I'm not allowed to see Granny. No. And I can't eat any of her yummy biscuits. Yeah, we all miss the yummy biscuits. Well, John, you're right. Life is just not normal anymore, is it? It's different for all of us. And we all feel a little bit strange. Maybe a little bit worried, possibly a little bit frightened. Well, those around us will look after us and we can pray about it. We can always pray about it, can't we, John? Would you like it if we prayed for you and the people out there as well? OK, that would be nice. Can Rachel say the prayer? OK, John, we'll say the prayer. And hopefully you'll all join in at the end with our big Amen. Father God, we all feel these are very strange times. Many of us don't really understand what is happening around us. We feel a little worried and uncertain. Please help us to know you are close by and will help us. Please show us that you are in charge and you will give us safety and protection. Amen. 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 Yes, John, that was, do you feel better now? I do a bit. I will feel even better after my packet of crisps. <laughs> well, John, yes, you've earned a packet of crisps, I think. I'm going to get you over to the crisps and I need you to eat them quietly because Rachel's got a story for us now. I have. And enjoy your crisps, John, because I think okay. it's the last Bye bye, people. Got. Bye bye, bye Rachel. John. Bye. Bye. Right, let's just see down here if I can find the story. Let me put on my glasses in my pocket. We're going to have another story from Bob Hartman's Rhyming Bible. It's called When My Fears Are Giant Sized. David took his brothers a lunch of cheese and bread. Soldiers on a battlefield, they needed to be fed. That's when he sped. A giant foot and leg and arm and head and heard the giant's challenge and bravely stood and said, God help me beat a lion. God help me beat a bear. So when my fears are giant-sized, I trust God is there. You cannot fight that giant, his frightened brothers cried. He'll squash you like an insect. He's more than twice your size. You're just a little shepherd boy. You should be terrified. But David knew that God would help, and that's why he replied. God, help me beat a lion. God, help me beat a bear. So when my fears are giant-sized, I trust that God is there. So David went and told the king, I'll take the giant's dare. Then have my armour, said the king, it's standing over there. When David tried it on, he found it much too hard to wear. A sling and stones is all I need, he said. Well, and a prayer. God! Help me beat a lion. God help me beat a bear. So when my fears are giant sized, I trust that God is there. The giant looked at David. He growled and cursed and roared. You send this stick sized boy against my spear and shield and sword. I'll beat him without trying. Then feed him to the birds. 
But David reached inside the pouch where his five stones were stored. God help me beat a lion. God help me beat a bear. So when my fears are giant sized, I trust that God is there. The giant rushed towards him, his face an angry red. David swung his sling and aimed straight for the giant's head. That small stone struck its target. The giant fell down dead. And as his brothers clapped and cheered, David simply said, God help me beat a lion. God help me beat a bear. So when my fears are giant sized, I trust that God is there. We're going to have a song in a minute, but I need to go and put my book away. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story, learning about how this little shepherd boy defeated the giant. We're now going to have another song about all through history. And we're going to hear about different times through the Bible when God has been with people and helped them out in difficult situations. Robin, are you going to help me enjoy I'm going to try. We're going to try. As, long as, the, as long as they try as well. Okay. We'll all have a go together. Okay. Okay. Here we go. The most enormous art The king the men's animals afloat The Lord was good The Lord was strong And Noah lived his life for him Most of the people through the sea Did men drink from slavery The Lord was good the Lord was strong and no one lived his life for him. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you, that all through history you were faithful. Thank you, oh, thank you, you are just the same when it comes to me, when it comes to me. David at the line, and he won. Raw! Not a young boy, king. The Lord was good, the Lord was strong, and David lived his life for him. Daniel was the line, and I was then. The king. The Lord was good, the Lord was strong, and Daniel lived his life for him. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you, that all through history you were faithful. Thank you, oh, thank you, that you are just the same when it comes to me, when it comes to me. Exciting part of the whole afternoon. 
Do you think so? Yes, it is for you. Why? Because I'm asking you a question. Do you trust me? You immediately make me feel worried when you ask me that question. So I'm not yes, sure. Yes, but you must you answer. Either well, you trust me or you don't. Most of the time I trust you, but when you ask me that sort of question, I just think something's going to happen. Let's find out. Uh, I think that's an idea. Okay, now. I wonder what it's going to be. I'm a bit scared, actually. Yes, a glass. One glass. That's Tell fine. me, is it empty or full? It's certainly empty. That's fine. I can manage a glass if that's all okay. it is. Okay. One jug of water. Okay. Pouring. Pouring a jug of water. Is that for me to drink? It, no, don't drink it. Can I? So we've seen. Just check that it is there's water. water in the jar. In the jar. Mmm. Mmm. It certainly is water. It's very nice. It's very refreshing after doing mm. all that singing and dancing. Can I not finish it? I am going to tip this water over your head. That's not a very nice thing to do, Robin. But the only thing that's going to stop you getting wet is this piece of card. What? Now, do you trust me to do that? No. You don't? No. Well, they, they are going to be very disappointed. Are we going to go on to the next bit then? I'm... One piece of card over one jug of water. And you're going to tip that over me? Are you ready? No. I don't think you're very... Well, I don't think this is fair. Okay, you can see. I'm actually very There's worried. the water. I think I'm going to get very, very wet. In There's the minute. card. I'm... There's Rachel's head. After three... One, two, two and a half, two and three quarters, ah! three. Whoa, uh, uh, there's no trick here, it really is happening. I'm not going to move. Okay, I'm not going to move. I'll show everybody at home. There is a glass, there is some air, there is some water, and there is a piece of card. I think you should put your hand on it. Really the quickly, only thing it. that's stopping. All the water from dropping out of the glass is the air. Which just demonstrated really... that she was really brave. I didn't get wet at all. And she know. trusted me. Shall we tip it up the other way? Just to check. In case you blew the there we go. Whoa, a few drips there, but. So you haven't glued the cardboard? No, on. it's not glued, it's just a piece of card. Wow, that's actually quite amazing. So what do you make of that? Then? Do you know that kind of reminds me that when you had it up the other way. Yes, which I'm not water, going to do again, by the way. The water was the thing that I was scared of. Yes. Okay, there was the water I was mm. scared of because... Why are you drinking? I'm thirsty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The water was a thing that I was scared of because I thought it was going to tip all over me and get me very, very wet. And I would have screamed. There's quite a lot of water in there, actually. There yeah. is a lot yeah. of water in there. Mm. But the air, Robin said, was stopping the water from coming out. And that reminds me, because I couldn't see the air. No, I couldn't see the air either. But it reminds me mm. that we can't see the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit gives us protection. We have to ask him into our lives to protect us against the things that we're worried about. And I think some of you might have been a little bit worried this week because things are a little bit unusual. A bit like John, he's not sleeping very well no. because things are a little bit strange. So we need to remember to pray to God. Pray to the Holy Spirit that he will be in our lives and he will protect us from all the madness that's going on around us. Got a song? Have we got a song? Oh, we have, we've got a song. Sorry, I went all blank there. I couldn't remember what we were doing. <clears throat> a so, song yes, we which is song. more of a rap, isn't it? Have I not commanded you? Sort of. Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord, your God, God will be with you, you wherever, wherever you, you go. go. Should, Should we, we do that this? together? Let's try yep. it together. Commanded you be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified, do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Wherever you go. 
Firing up command it keeps it strong Have I not commanded to be strong and courageous? Do not be terrified, do not be discouraged For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go Wherever you go Not commanded to be strong and courageous do not be terrified, do not be discouraged For the Lord your God will be with you Wherever you go 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 Well done everybody. I hope you remember all the way through this next week that you need to pray and that wherever you are, no matter what's going on around you, God will be with you and will give you protection. We've nearly come to the end of our footprint session this afternoon, but we would like to pray with you before we close. And then we're going to finish off with Doug Hawley's song, Wonderful Lord, which reminds us that he can be our shield and protector at all times. And when we go to bed at night, we don't need to be worried because he is with us. We'll pray, then we'll have the song. Father God, we know this has been a difficult week for many people. We know that everything seems a little bit strange. But Father God, we ask that we can feel your Holy Spirit close to us. We can feel your comforting arms around us. Help us be faithful to you and put all our trust in you. Amen. Amen. Trust you forever. 
Okay. See you all very soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.